Hello, it's Heather here, and I got a couple of foods in front of me because today I'm going to talk about genetically modified foods and preservatives. Now, if you notice here, these are Pop Tarts. I've been eating these since I was a kid, and recently I see now produced with genetic engineering. Genetic engineering, I believe, is uh, made in a lab, and it's a, a real food that's been tampered with um, by the people in the lab. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's not something that I really choose to eat. And sadly, it's in most of our foods now, because they say it's safe. But anyway, that's not the only thing that's really bad. Um, things like titanium dioxide are bad, aluminum, uh, red dyes. These have a lot of preservatives in them, but they also have vitamins. But the genetic engineering thing I do not like. Now, just recently, I've been wanting to eat some Apple Jacks, because I used to eat these as a kid. Um, and genetic engineering is also in here, at the bottom here. And I think they're, they're trying to come out with an, with an apple now that doesn't rot, which is crazy. And ice cream that doesn't melt. Now this here, these are just plain old egg whites. I don't see genetic modification on the label. These aren't so bad for you. These are actually good. Xanagum isn't real bad. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's called Xanagum. That's just a preservative that's not real, real bad for you. Um, but it's not perfectly good for you either. But these aren't bad. Whoops. And now we have this, uh, this really good, delicious barbecue sauce is really good here. There's some preservatives in here. Um, benzylate as a preservative. That's not real, real bad. But then again, it ain't good. And if you notice over here, these corn chips here, although I don't see genetically modified, I see titanium dioxide and blues and reds and B, BHT, which is a preservative. But those are not good either. Um, but yeah, I think the hospitals are flooded lately, and I believe that it's because of the genetic engineering foods we're getting. Um, this stuff came out in the 90s but it wasn't required to put it on the labels until now. And they say it's safe, but I just, I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. It's even in my Tostitos, as you can tell, the bottom here. Produced with genetic engineering. It's basically food that was tampered with in a lab to create a better food, which is crazy to me. Because you really can't tamper with nature. But yeah, I see a lot of people in the hospitals lately, and I believe it's, it's due to the foods. Um, and, you know, I'm a beer drinker. I'm actually drinking right now. So I have to worry now that it's practically in my beer. Because actually the first genetically modified foods were corn and wheat. And a lot of beer is actually made with corn and wheat. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video <clears throat> on, you know, preservatives and genetically modified foods, stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, that's about it right now. Um, these actually don't say it. Actually, what's really weird is when I bought these Apple Jacks a few weeks ago, I had another box a few weeks ago, it didn't say genetically modified on that one, which makes me think that there's something crazy going on and something really sneaky going on. Like, maybe they're trying to get you to think they took it out, but then this box has it. Maybe they think you won't read the next box. But yeah. <clears throat> but that's about it for now. Um, if we all go organic, we can probably put those other people out of business. I mean, I know it's a little more expensive, and one can only hope that it's really pure and organic. Which, you know, you can only go by what you taste. Um, that's just what I believe. But yeah, I, I try to eat more organics lately. Um, yeah, I really like the organic strawberries. I actually think they taste better. But yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for listening to my video. I'll probably do another updated video more on exactly what genetic engineering really is. But it's not something I want to eat.